Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. These are the Leverton smart Wi-Fi switch and dimmer that doesn't require a neutral wire to pass through to where you the location where you want to start the dimmer or the switch, but you do need to install the bridge, Wi-Fi bridge to uh, communicate with the dimmer and switch. I've been waiting for them to come out with this uh, dimmer and switch for a while because uh, some of my switch location doesn't have a neutral wire pass through. So I'm going to be installing this today and show you guys how to set it up. All right, let's get started. Inside the dimmer and Wi-Fi bridge kit, you get the dimmer, the cover plate, instruction booklet in Spanish, and help guide. You get two started guide right here this is for the the bridge and this is for the dimmer some wire nuts the wi-fi bridge and a light almond uh, switch cover for the switch same thing you get the cover the switch wire nuts and the instruction booklet spanish and english As you can see, I already took off the cover plate and the old switch that I have on there to save some time on the video because, uh, you know, it's pretty simple to, you know, remove a cover plate, four screws, and then to take out the switch, it's like two screws, one top and bottom. Before you do anything though, turn off your breaker. Go to your, you know, breaker box, switch off the breaker. That's the safest way. What I have here is two load wire here one go to each set of uh, light in the ceiling that I have and this is the power cable this is the power cable that coming directly from the breaker and I have to split this power into two because there's two load they have to send power to two set of uh, lights and as you can see I'm not going to use any neutral wire after you turn off your breaker switch Double check on hot wire, make sure there's no power coming in anymore with this contactless tester. If you have one, you know, it's like $20 for get one from Home Depot. Right now it's green, that means you're good to go. If uh, the red still flashing and beeping, that means there's still power going through. Just double check the breaker. I'm gonna grab my uh, dimmer and light, smart light switch. I'm gonna twist the, the power line together with the line coming in from the wall. I'm going to twist them all together. And I'm not an electrician guys, so uh, you know, if you have any tip, any comment, just leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know uh, what I did wrong or what should, have, what should I have done. Make sure it's tight. This is my dimmer, the one, the set of light that I want to dim. So I'm going to connect it with the, the dimmer, smart dimmer switch, which is this one right here. The red, twist those two together. Just like that. And I'm gonna use the small wire nuts. Because there's, there's only two wires. Just twist tight. Okay. And then the smart switch. Go to the other set of light that I have. Okay, twist those together. Why not? Make sure it's tight. And I'm gonna grab all the ground wire inside the box. I'm gonna twist together with the two, uh, the switch and the dimmer, just like that. 
I'm actually use the the red red wire nuts because there's the, there's like five what four conductor here, actually five. So you need a big on wire nuts. Make sure it's tight. Yeah, and that's it. Now just put back, push all the wire back, and install the switch and demo back on. All right, I got the two switch back onto the box. Now the cover plate. Okay, both the switch installed. Before I'm gonna program the switch to uh, work with my phone and for Google Assistant, I'm gonna turn on the light. Make sure it works. Oh uh, yeah, flip the breaker. Test out the switch, make sure it works. All right, cool, the light works. So now I'm gonna program the dimmer and the smart switch. Before I set up the dimmer and the smart switch, I need to download the My Leviton apps on my phone first. If you have an Android phone, go to the Play Store or else an iPhone, go to the App Store and install the Leviton app, which I already did. And just go there, open the apps, go in the apps, set, the, set up the account. After you set up the account, Take the Wi-Fi bridge, find an outlet, plug it in. And then just wait for the green LED light to flash. Go into your Leviton app. And now on top of here, Click on the plus sign. On the bottom, click on add device. And scroll down until you find the Wi-Fi bridge. Click on it. Now, you're asking if the green LED light is flashing. Yes. So, yes, let's go. Then it's allowed. There you go. It found the Wi-Fi bridge. Click on it. And then click next. Now it's connecting. Okay, so now you pick your Wi Fi that you want to connect your bridge to. After you select your Wi Fi, it's going to try to uh, transfer your Wi Fi to setting to the Leviton device. Let's wait. There you go. Click next. And you're done. Click finish. Now we could go set up the dimmer and the smart switch. To set up the dimmer and the smart switch, very easy. Again, just open your My Leviton app on your phone. There we go. And then on top, just click on add the, uh, the plus sign. Go to, on the bottom here, click add device. And I'm going to set up the dimmer first. Click on dimmer. And make sure you select a 
the they must say no neutral require okay no neutral right there click on that now check make sure your dimmer have the flashing green light on the bottom for you to set up if not what you want to do is if you see like uh, you wait too long to set up the dimmer after you install it just go outside and just turn off your breaker for like and leave it on off for like a few seconds and then turn it back on it will reset the the dimmer the smart switch now so it's flashing green light click yes let's go and now it find it found like two both my dimmer and the smart switch so i'm going to just select it select both of them or well, actually you know you, you can't so just select one for now next trying to transfer Wi-Fi bridge setting to the device seems like it's pretty slow but let's wait and see how how slow it is probably gonna take like a minute there you go okay not bad now save now you could name your dimmer this is for my kitchen so I see the light solid now that means it's already connected now you could actually change the name you know this is for my kitchen light so i'm gonna kitchen dimmer and next you can add to a room uh i'm gonna do this later because i just want to add the switch to let's show you guys how but now you know after that you go in you could change you know name the room that you want to set the dimmer to and all this it's pretty uh, cool um, now I'm going to do this later uh, I mean you know what let's do it let's connect to my Google assistant Now it's going to add me to link my account. Just put in input your email, your password for your Google Home account. So just input your email and your password for the my Leviton app. So I'm gonna after it connect to your Google Assistant, you can select the dimmer into which room. So I'm gonna have it as a kitchen dimmer, then add to room, uh, dining room, kitchen. Device was moved. Okay, everything now. Yeah, it's all good now. So let me go and turn on the light. All right, let me show you guys if it's working or not. Okay, let's test it out. All right, let's test the lights out for my uh, smart dimmer. Hey Google, turn on the kitchen light. All right, it's working. Hey Google, turn off the kitchen light. All right, guys, thank you for watching the videos. Please like, subscribe to help the channel out. See you guys next time.